Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article that I have here talks about uh, some claims made by uh, the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, that the uh, United States is directly involved in the Ukraine-Russia war. Many people uh, think that this is true. Uh, many people think that this is not true. We'll try to uh, discuss it and see what evidence he brings and or counter arguments we can bring or arguments to support his claims. This article comes from Reuters from August 2nd, 2022. Russia says United States is directly involved in Ukraine war. Russia on Tuesday said that the United States, the world's top military power, was directly involved in the conflict in Ukraine because U.S. spies were approving and coordinating Ukrainian missile strikes on Russian forces. Well, that's direct involvement, if true, right? I personally do not have any doubt that uh, the information uh, Ukraine, Ukrainian army gets sometimes uh, it's from uh, United States. I, the United States has the, has the uh, technological capability to uh, provide certain uh, pieces of information and believe me you not you they know who can do what and who can't do certain uh, you know um, find certain locations or certain areas or where the information comes from and who might and who might not have or able to get that information but let's see here Russia's invasion of Ukraine has triggered the most serious crisis in relations between Russia and the West since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis, when many people feared the world was on the brink of nuclear war. Russia's defense ministry, headed by a close ally of President Vladimir Putin, said Vadim Skibitsky, Ukraine's deputy head of military intelligence, had admitted to the Telegraph newspaper that Washington coordinates HIMARS missile strikes. I, uh, it happened that I uh, read that little article. And I'm quoting, all this undeniably proves that Washington, contrary to White House and Pentagon claims, is directly involved in the conflict in Ukraine, the defense ministry said. Well, if you have only this evidence coming from this guy who maybe had a little bit too much vodka, and th thought that maybe if he says that, hey, I'm going to mention your name, so they get scared a little bit, uh, then yeah, but if that's your evidence, obviously you can't say, well, we now have this evidence because this. Because if you say that, they will know how you got the evidence. Sometimes you know the routes, the only routes that could be taken in order to get some information. That's how it is. You can go and find out whom just because that particular, uh, let's say, target could be only identified through this method, no other method. And if you go deeper a little bit, then it spreads. But the first one, it's only that. That's the only way. And you get and get the, the right people and the right uh, uh, systems, and you're able to see which one is it. It's not that hard. But, all right, let's see. I mean, it's not that hard. It depends uh, on the circumstance from some situation to situations, obviously. All right, so. U.S. President Joe Biden has said he wants Ukraine to defeat Russia and has supplied billions of dollars of arms to Kiev by U.S. officials do not want, but U.S. officials do not want a direct confrontation between U.S. and Russian soldiers. No, they want you to die in our name. We were just going to give you money, but we're not involved. We give you everything you need, but I'm not going to be there on the front, but we're not involved. That's how it is. And after you die, we'll say, well, too bad. Next one, which one is it on the list? Okay, let's go over there. Bahrain, you said? Okay, let's go there. Or Venezuela. So, Russia said that Biden administration was responsible for missile attacks on civilian targets in areas controlled by Russian-backed forces in eastern Ukraine. And I'm quoting. It is the Biden administration that is directly responsible for all Kiev-approved rocket attacks on residential areas and civilian infrastructure in populated populated areas of Donbas and other regions. We have resulted in mass death of civilians." End quote. The defense ministry said, I thought that uh, Ukrainians are hitting only military targets. Oh, these guys are lying. Got it. 
and it says here that approved all Kiev approved rocket attacks it's the same thing as the F-16 and uh, you have to ask the approval in, a, in order for let's say Turkey to take off with uh, an F-16 provided by the US it has to uh, make contact with the Pentagon and or by the Americans and control and say hey we're gonna do this operation we're gonna take off because that's how they do I found out about I don't know, 10 years ago or no, not 10 it was the first information I got but the one that confirmed it it was when um, remember in Syria in North Syria when the, the Turks destroyed a Suhoi 24 I think it was that came allegedly in, on the territory of uh, of uh, Turkey and they destroyed it uh, that's when uh, some people uh, <clears throat> very uh, knowledgeable said no plane provided by the United States sold to you cannot take uh, can't take off unless they approve with the mission can you believe that it's like GM General, Mor General Motors sells you a car and you can start it until they approve of your route we're getting there we're getting there but it's not gonna be GM it's gonna be the government you'll see oh uh, my god oh, you see there in, you see in Europe they're gonna have those cars where you blow first to see if you have alcohol in the system and only then they're gonna allow you to drive they're here for people that have DUIs you know but uh, there's gonna be something um, um, that, that that would go uh, in other spheres other areas you'll see Russia and the West frame the conflict in Ukraine uh, very differently obviously Putin calls it a special military operation aimed to prevent what he says is a Western attempt to use Ukraine to threaten Russia and uh, at protecting Russia speakers from prosecution from dangerous nationalists nationalists in Ukraine. Well, that's one of the one of these reasons. Of course, that uh, the Kiev and the Western uh, backers say Putin's claims are without foundation and that there is no justification for waging an unprovoked war against a sovereign state whose borders Russia has recognized. Well, I think uh, Afghanistan is a sovereign state too, right? Wasn't that a terrorist killed by that uh, CIA drone yesterday or the day before? Did you say, was it? <laughs> Probably the, the Taliban said, yes, yes, yes. CIA drone can fly over our territory and kill the Taliban leader who's on our territory somehow. But we, we, we let you do that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Is Afghanistan a country? Is it sovereign? Oh, you don't like the, the government and its politics and its social policies. Too bad they don't like yours either. Oh, yours are better? <gasps> are we engaging here in uh, supremacy? <laughs> yeah, oh my God, you can kill these guys uh, verbally, obviously, with their own stupidity and illogical argumentation. Um, so, uh, is the West involved? I think it is. I think not only the United States is involved. I think they all not only have... I mean, it would be again probabilities would be almost impossible to think that, uh, that there are no um, advisors military advisors let's put it this way and they said they are there are tra there are trainers uh, foreign trainers military trainers who train poor Ukrainians to uh, you know open a can or drink properly and so on you know use those uh, Hawaisers Hawizers and uh, all they are over there but they're, they're not fighting. No, 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 no. They're not fighting. They're just over there. And they say, yeah, yeah. Ivan, do like that. Georg, do like this. All right. No, no, no. They're shooting at us. So it's okay. It's okay. I'm just a uh, observer here. I'm just a trainer. They're not going to shoot me. I mean, that's the way you think it works there, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the movies, yeah, it could work like that. But in reality, remember Vietnam. How were those uh, trainers and uh, military advisors? <laughs> so, I have evidence. They said it so. The Americans say we have their advisors, we have their adv military advisors and uh, trainers. They train the poor Ukrainians to walk straight after. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.